going on with you? Wanted to come along and do a quick video about my hair. I've had so many of my friends and just people in general saying, oh my goodness, what have you done and or are doing with your hair? So I thought, oh, you know, that's gonna be long. Why not make a video, share it with everyone and kind of give some tips and tricks of what has worked for me and for my hair. I'm very happy with it. Today's a free day. Um, I didn't twist it this week and I kind of put it in a banana clip. I'll have to tell you all about that. So it's free today. I rinsed it and kind of threw some shea butter in it and <laughs> I was in the post office and this older man talking about, oh my goodness, I have this shirt. It says, thank God I'm natural. And uh, he looked and he was like, that's your hair? And I'm like, and he touched it. And he's like, you're gorgeous. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and look here, I had on my glasses. So, you know, I was feeling a little fly today. <laughs> So anyways, when I had the TWA, all I used on my hair was, trust the man, this is not natural, okay? It works for my hair though. I mean, my hair likes it, it soaks it up, it's very soft, it's easy to detangle, so guess what? I stuck with it. A lot of people jump ship on products because they're not all natural or because somebody else uses it. If it works for you, by all means, use it. You know, you don't have to use what everyone else uses. So that's what I used for probably the first maybe three months. I just co-washed. But as my hair has grown, I've noticed that I needed a shampoo. I didn't want to go to a traditional shampoo. So I, you know, since I had it, I used the black soap, shea soap, because I was using it on my face and I noticed it worked well on my hair. Now with this, it's about a pH of eight. You must use a good conditioner. Use natural or the stress me or whatever you want to use. This will, to me, it makes my hair almost squeaky clean, a uh, little too clean, so I, I use a good conditioner, but it, like I said, it's like, a, it's like a mud. I mean, all it is is cocoa potash, palm oil, honey, um, the water in it, and you have, let me see if I missed anything, shea butter. Yay, I missed that. So these were my, um, first I started this, these are my two staples now. After I get done with my wash, I wash every Sunday, I'll put the details below, I use the shea soap, Tresemme, and I detangle in the shower, and it's great because I've come to the point with my hair that when I'm washing it, sometimes I see little pieces of hair in the tub um, in the shower, yet I don't see any now in the comb. I mean, my hair is just it's doing its thing. I'm very happy with it. After I get out of the shower, I do take from um, Kathy House's book, Ultra Black Hair Girl. She gives you a conditioner mix. If you go on Amazon, they have the mix. I'll put it below. Uh, some people attribute it also to Kim at YouTube, but she'll tell you she got it out of here. Kathy House, excellent author, teaches you a lot about your hair. Your hair is dead. It's not alive. So you're taking a protein, really an amino acid, and you want to preserve it as long as you can. So how do you do that? You take excellent care of it. It's a great product on it, and you pay a lot of attention to it. So anyways, I use a conditioner. Um, I have one. I picked up one cell from Walgreens. I really like, uh, but I mix it with castor oil and jojoba. <laughs> and grapeseed oil. I do about two tablespoons each. And I also mix some aloe vera juice. Uh, in addition to what I use for my hair, I do test. I have pH balance strips that I use. I test all of the products that go on my hair, which that's why I know when I want to leave in. And you're looking for um, that pH of um, about five or six for your hair. So make sure you do that. Uh, so then after I do that, I found this amazing flaxseed gel recipe, thanks to Natural 85, one of my favorite YouTubers. And I just take a fourth a cup of this with two cups of water, boil it for six minutes, and you get this really globby gel. I mean, the stuff is like nasty. <laughs> it's not the greatest. It's not like gel from the store. It's heavy and you pull it out and you're like, it's like snot, it's, it's gross. But it works, so I mix that, but when I'm done with it, I put in um, aloe vera gel because the pH on it is about an eight, seven, about a seven, eight, it's a little too high for my hair. So I, I mix it with the aloe vera gel and I put in my favorite essential oil and some castor oil because I use it. And then on Sundays I twist and then I wear my hair back all week in a banana clip. So I twist, wear it back, wear a little bit of bangs forward and that's how I usually wear my hair. Um, the other staple for me um, that I use, of course, is coconut oil when I want some shine and extra conditioner. I just throw it on my hair, um, coconut oil. It smells so good. And you can also put it in your tea. I'm a tea drinker. Um, of course, I do have my shea butter. But you want to take your shea butter. There are tons of videos on how to make with mixes. But I mix it with, you know, aloe vera gel, mango butter, coconut oil, sunflower oil, all of the good things. And I use that on my hair, on my twist as well. Then during the week, I have the spray. 
yeah, it's brown. <laughs> um, I actually spray amino acids, which you can get from your local health food store, natural store. A lot of people um, use this instead of um, salt. It's a soy protein, and it's, it's pretty salty. It's um, like um, soy sauce, even. But I put that into um, a vegetable glycerin mix with water. Um, I really like castor oil for my hair. I like it. You can put in, you know, grapefruit oil. I find that the oils keep my hair shine, and I just kind of spray. I put an essential oil in as well, because normally every day my hair is rinsed because I exercise daily. So, you know, hair, water comes on my hair every day. Um, and then I also test the pH of this. You don't want it, you know, eight, nine. By itself, amino acids is way too high. You have to make it into a mix. Um, and that's really what I do for my hair. Now, I've been natural since September 2010. This is now March of 2000. I've been natural since September of 2009. This is March of 2011. And my hair is, I don't even know if you can see that, but it's here past my topical bone there. Let's see if you can see. Um, my hair in the front is, well, it's just to my lips. <laughs> And you know, sides are doing pretty well. Uh, I don't see a lot of length. So there we go. So I mean, my hair has grown. I really like the texture. I really like um, the feel. Um, I have not ever put heat on my hair. Some people are really into length. I like my hair. I don't care if it's short like this. I don't care if it's stretched. I don't. I don't care. It's beautiful as it is. And I'm sure your hair is beautiful as it is. So don't get all you know caught up in my texture is not like yours my length it's your hair and thank god that you're natural so enjoy like i said um these are my staples that i use for my hair you know write down below what you use for your hair but this is what has worked for me whatever you find works for you stick with your routine you know learn your hair um especially you know look at the shedding it's really important look at your curl patterns like this is mine today um, this is how mine kind of looks in the back. But again, it's your hair. So enjoy. But thanks for watching, y'all. I appreciate it.